officially read this and present it to them. Okay. So, can I just interrupt for two minutes? Hey, Jan. Hey, good yeah. to see you back there. So, I just want to say what a thrill it is to be here this morning in Rochester. And, you know, we've been highlighting people doing absolutely heroic things in the 2nd District for the last year. And we're calling it Who's Who in District 2. And we actually um, just try to highlight community leaders and people that you would never suspect that, that end up emerging as community leaders. Incredible, phenomenal things done. In fact, I'm going from here to the Rochester firemen that rescued the people in the house and in, in the drive-by fire. Um, and what we do with these is it gives me an opportunity to tell the entire country about somebody in our district and the incredible things that they're doing. So I actually go to the House floor. We have one minute and we can highlight or talk about whatever we want to talk about. So on September the 28th last year, this is what I said on the House floor, and it was meant to honor Harry and the entire Citizens Advisory Council as heroic in the fight against meth in this state. And so here's what I said, and this is in the Congressional Record, and so I'm giving him today a copy of the Congressional Record, and then also this is in the um, Federal Register, if you want to look it up, if you want to get a copy, it's also online everywhere. Um, it's all about Harry Webb today and the Citizens <laughs> Advisory Council. So here's what I said. Mr. Speaker, I rise to recognize a pharmacist in my district, Harry Webb, for his dedication to curbing the meth epidemic that has taken America by storm. Meth has infected rural communities across America, consumed not by elites, but by working class Americans who build meth labs in rural areas using household products and ingredients. Make no mistake. Indiana's meth problem is appalling. In 2013, the Hoosier State had more meth incidents than any other state in the U.S. Harry and his team, the Citizens Action Committee, are working to curb meth production by partnering with local and state officials and pharmacies to reduce pseudoephedrine sales, the active ingredient in meth, and they have taken the initiative in marketing drug abuse resistant products to their customers. The meth problem is real and it affects us all. This is a critical issue, and I'm grateful for Harry's dedication and work to reduce the amount of meth labs in our communities. Mr. Speaker, once again, please join me in honoring Harry Webb for his meth lab reduction program and his service to our state. That's what it says. Congratulations. There we go. Okay. Well, thank you, Jackie, for the recognition. It's certainly uh, it's quite an honor. Um, but, you know, it is a collective we here. Yeah. Val formed this committee back in uh, February. And, incredible. Uh, at age 89. <laughs> that's, that's incredible. And, it really uh, is. You know, the words that we've been, you know, I get a lot of the recognition for this, but really it's the words of all of us that have uh, resonated. And um, it's, been, it's been quite fun, I guess, to come up with a solution. And hopefully we're going to take it statewide. I so. hope so, too. And I talked to your mayor about it as well and for what you're doing um, in leading the state's charge against meth. And, I can tell you that as um, the solutions banner back and forth at the state level, I am thrilled that there's a community in this district that has stood up and said, we're going to fix this, we're solution makers, and we're going to stand up for our community. And I couldn't be more thrilled today than to be here and to just thank you for your lead. I do believe Indiana will follow in time, and I think that as long as all of us in communities work together, we will eradicate this from our state. So thank you very much, Harry. Thank you for the Citizens Action Group as well. It could not happen without you, and I'm grateful that it has happened with you. So thanks for what you've done for the community. I should also mention Mark Williamson, who wasn't mm -hmm. able to make it today, but he's been vital in this yeah. effort. Yes. Awesome. Well, thank you. Thank you. Thank you all for coming.